In this video, I'll tell you how to do biceps curl correctly and what will happen to your body if you do biceps curl every day. So watch the video till the end, it will be interesting. Let's go! The biceps is a large muscle that lies on the front of the upper arm between the shoulder and the elbow. It consists of two heads, long and short. The long one is on the outside of the shoulder, the short one is on the inside. The function of the biceps is to flex the forearm at the elbow joint and rotate the forearm. This movement is used in rows, pull-ups and directly in arm curls. In addition, the biceps act as a stabilizer muscle in bench presses. One of the basic exercises aimed at developing biceps is the biceps curl. Developed biceps not only complement an athletic look, but also help with other exercises. Let's move on to the main benefits of biceps curls. One of the important benefits of strong and developed biceps is that they help with other exercises. The biceps are involved in various rows, pull-ups, and so on, as a synergist of the back muscles. And if it is weak, then you will not be able to perform these exercises effectively. In addition, when training the biceps, in addition to the biceps itself, the muscles of the forearms and grip are strengthened. By performing biceps curls, athletic performance in other sports will improve. Rowing, throwing, and other sports that actively involve the arms will improve from strong biceps. Well, the most noticeable advantage is your appearance. No other muscle faces as much scrutiny regarding its appearance as the biceps. Large biceps can instantly identify an athletic person. The biceps curl has a huge number of variations. It is possible that this exercise has the largest number of variations. Therefore, I will not list them all, but will focus only on a few. Standing biceps curl. This is a real classic. This exercise can be performed with dumbbells, a straight barbell, or an easy barbell. Seated biceps curl. In this version, the body swing is removed, which allows you to concentrate more on the biceps. Incline biceps curl. To do this, you will need an incline bench. You need to set a comfortable seat angle and and lie on your back. Your arms will hang at your sides. This option will allow you to stretch your biceps more. Hammer curl. This exercise is also a bodybuilding classic. In addition to the biceps, the brachialis muscle works great here. The squat bench curl. In this exercise, the arms are fixed on a bench. In this position, the biceps are isolated even more. Let's look at the biceps curl technique. Place your feet shoulder width apart and hold a dumbbell in your hand. The grip is pronated. The arms are pressed to the body. As you exhale, bend your arm and lift the dumbbell to shoulder level. After a short pause while inhaling, lower the dumbbell down. All movements are performed under control. The eccentric phase of the movement should be performed slower than the concentric phase. At the top, you need to tense your biceps as much as possible and pause. At the bottom, the arms don't fully straighten, maintaining tension in the muscle. The first mistake that beginners make is ignoring technique. The second mistake is choosing the wrong weight. Loads that are too light or too high will not produce results. The third mistake is training only the biceps during the entire workout. After only three exercises, biceps will get completely tired, and all further exercises will not give results. The fourth mistake is lack of rest. If you don't get enough rest, your biceps won't have time to recover. By the way, friends, be sure to watch other videos on this channel. The links are on the screen right now. See you soon.